Welcome back. Rapper Honey Singh is back in the headlines after the Punjab and Haryana High Court has ordered the Punjab government to take action against him for his vulgar and controversial lyrics. In fact, the court has issued a summons to him as well to appear in the next hearing on 4th of July. The court has said that obscene songs should be boycotted, reigniting a debate that started soon after the Delhi December gang rape. The court said, and these are some of the quotes, why has there been no action against Honey Singh? He should be boycotted, that our heads hang in shame after hearing his songs and that he brings disrepute to Indian culture. But the question is, can we and should we boycott vulgar lyrics? Are these lyrics the problem? Are we missing the larger point here? Joining us tonight, two radio jockeys. We have radio jockey Safia here in the studio with us and Anand also joining us from Delhi. And Shaina NC joins us tonight from Mumbai. Let me ask uh, uh, Safia first. You know, we were just talking about this, that, you know, until the Delhi incident happened in December, a lot of people were listening to Honey Singh's songs and it didn't really strike us to be outraged about them. And then yeah. suddenly, you know, we, we got agitated about them because of, of, of what that happened. Is this outrage misplaced? Because we didn't care before that. No, I don't think it is sudden outrage. I think uh, the lyrics are quite offensive. They're not even lyrics. I think, uh, firstly, there's no grey area in this. They are abusers stringed together with some musical notes. That's not a song. And they are actually targeting, I mean, you know, it's rape and rapist Mehu Balatka. You, you can't even say it on national no, television. You can't. Absolutely. So it's 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 offensive outright. So whoever I mean it, this kind of uh, these kind of songs, these kind of uh, artists so to say keep coming and it just so happens that it uh, the Delhi rape case has also happened and of course in the wake of these things this but was wasn't it very offensive. popular. I mean you've been a radio jockey, you are a radio jockey didn't uh, his songs get a lot of requests? Of course they do but that's not uh, popularity is not equal to whether know, it's right or wrong. Yes, but do you believe that the courts should intervene? Are you are you happy that the Punjab yes, I mean, Haryana we, High Court is intervening? In the this? judiciary is uh, you know the most sacred institution in the country. I think if they're taking a look at this and they are pointing out something, there is something to this. Anand, uh, how do you feel about that? Uh, I, I mean, here you know a lot of people have been so really disgusted when you uh, and you know she has a point. Safi has a point when you look at his lyrics and when you listen to them, they really are absolutely disgusting. So, uh, don't you think that it is time for people to stand up and say we're not going to listen? To to this kind of music you know you were right when you said we're missing the bigger picture because will it okay I'm sorry we've just uh, lost Anand's line let me just try and go back to him in just a bit China let me take that to you are we missing the bigger picture here because m m many of the arguments that came up after Honey Singh was first criticized in December and, and January was that it's not about songs you know, it's it's a larger problem with society. That's what we need to address, and that by targeting his concerts and his songs, we're missing the point. No, but I think that absolutely, when one talks about uh, the judiciary intervening, why is the judiciary intervening today? The point here is that most of these l lyrics are not just obscene; they're vulgar, and we must understand that there is a clear distinction between vulgarity and creativity. And this is not just about vulgarity vis-a-vis -vis women, this is about objectification of women. And when one hears such, um, uh, uh, such kind of so-called creativity, if somebody may want to call it, I think that this is a space which is uh, the parallel of pornography. Because in the kind of uh, whatever little I have heard of Honey Singh's so-called creativity, it is so demeaning to women to start with and unless we work on that mindset which is not just the mindset of an artist but mindset of a man per se and the man as in an Indian man let's just accept a couple of points that we have a great cultural heritage and this is not about only protecting that this is about saying that why do we need to be so blatantly obsessed with the West and just in this whole uh, thought of freedom of expression you go out and do anything which is so bizarre and so unacceptable to the majority of society and this includes well, uh, you youngsters, know, I would personally people who say that it's not really about obsess being obsessed with the West or, or, or copying the West. <coughs> it's really about lyrics that promote violence against women, which if you have to be outraged about something, that's it, maybe point. that's what we violence should focus on. objectification. Yeah, so, uh, sorry, we have Anand back. Anand, sorry about that, that uh, we, we got disconnected earlier. But the point you were making is you, you think that the focus is wrong, that this is not the problem. Totally. Will it make the streets of India safer for women? Now, uh, Shaina mentioned object, objectification of women. That's been happening in Bollywood since a very long time. You have that cheesy line that 
تکرار انکار پیار کی پہلی سیڈی ایف ای وومن ریفیوزز شی ویل اگری ناو ان انڈیا وی ہیو دس پرابلم لیٹس فائنڈ اسکیپ گوڈ All right. Sorry about that. Uh, we, we lost that line again. But you, can you respond to what Anand said? Are you getting the essence of the point that he was yes. trying to make? You know, but I. This is not a, about scapegoat. He is not just a scapegoat. It's not very. It's very easy to say he's a scapegoat, and Honey Singh is being uh, reprimanded for his artistic expression. There is hardly any artistic expression. Is my point. I mean, you know, if uh, my three-year-old nephew cannot mm -hmm. listen to these songs, and um, you know, we can't. <laughs> as adults, we can use that discretion. that okay we want to listen to this or not but as um, so you know but then but then if we have to use that discretion shaina th isn't there a problem there that if you're going to have courts that are going to start to intervene and decide for what is vulgar for us to hear what is obscene for us to hear what isn't then you're entering into very dangerous territory shaina nidhi music is about public space and public space includes all age groups all generations and all backgrounds now if you're going to expose them to this kind of music which i don't even want to talk about it but which goes on balatkar 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 i mean as if to say that you know show this violence against women and this is what we're going to do what are we as a society heading out towards if you see the honorable bench that made this statement and spoke about it has spoken with such maturity has said that india has such a great civilization and the fact that you have artists who are using freedom of expression to kind of suggest that they can go out with any kind of lyrics which encourages violence against women which encourages vulgarity and which encourages absolutely appalling language i think that we as a nation also need to wake up it's great that we have a judiciary and a, our courts in place that choose to make a kind of a, a suggestion such as this but we as a society also need to know that it's about time that we ostracize what is bad and in this whole garb of acceptability where you accept anything and everything that comes your way is clearly not the way forward for a civilized society which has such a huge cultural heritage i agree with china completely because you know um with uh, so many things happening around this but this whole controversy intervene. yeah but if courts intervene then you know they're going to decide what's good enough for people to listen should it be people to listen they're not deciding well, right anything right now they're at least involved. they're making us aware uh, before this a lot of us didn't even go to like you said that we didn't even take think about honey singh's lyrics isn't it time to think and see what we are listening to and we're making um our generation the younger generation listen to this i think there is a point to what china is saying completely as in uh you know the impudence with which he is also uh, on twitter and saying that no the brashness that you yeah. know i can get away with these lyrics this these are not lyrics these are just a string of abuses all right i'm going to no, i'm going to leave like to go one step okay. further okay yes Nidhi, last last word china said. yes this is almost as if it shock value to create attention hmm. because this is no form of talent if you're truly talented there's so much you can do and especially with what all we have in india there's so much you can offer to the world and to your own country but by demeaning women and by using this kind of outlandish language i don't think you're proving a point other than trying to have a debate which we're discussing and for people to know who is this honey singh hmm. beyond that i don't think it serves any purpose all right ladies thank you very much i'm really sorry to anand tonight i'm sorry we kept losing the line with him my personal apologies there i do hope we can have him back on the show another time thank you very much to shaina and to safia